you would be glad you did. He's got a franchise, a great idea, five offices, Cairo Way. He trains students consistently from the local college because he's not too far from Northwestern. Uh, and he got on the board beginning of this year and he's just an innovator and uh, great ideas and this will be this will be something you can put into your practice right away. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Trent Shediger. Let's, uh, yeah, that works. Uh, thank you. That's uh, more than uh, what I paid him for. I gave him, <laughs> I bought him lunch today because I knew that he was introducing me, so I figured he'd give me a little extra credit before the talk. Um, I, um, before, I get a, before I get ahead of myself and before I, um, I forget to say this. I want to say thank you for uh, coming. We wouldn't be up here talking and if there wasn't you guys here, so we thank you for that. And I also want to give a shout out to two of the students that went out of their way. The only two students in the room um, out of all of us here, I think they deserve a round of applause. Uh, I, I have a big, I have a big passion. I, I think uh, when I was um, in their shoes, um, I got to meet um, a handful of chiropractors, some of them here in this room, that gracious, graciously opened their doors and said, come on into our house, come on into our practice. And they treated me like family, uh, which wasn't very common when we were in school training for chiropractic. Um, a lot of the local chiropractors where we went to school had this doctor-patient mentality. And when a student was in the room, it was, uh, shush, don't say anything, let me talk. You sit over there in the corner and you take notes. This is a different atmosphere with this uh, this group of uh, uh, chiropractors. And whether, whether you term yourself non-therapeutic, uh, objective straight, it doesn't matter. I think we're all chiropractors, we're all family here. And I, I urge you, if you haven't done so already, to find a student, mentor a student, um, pay for their meals here and there, uh, put gas in their car to come out and see you because they need more of us. Um, that's kind of our lifeline, our bloodline. So. Um, thank you again for, for the students that are out here. The title of this uh, presentation, and hopefully it's not too much of a, a lecture and it's more of interact, interaction, is the chiropractic experience. Um, my, uh, my history and who I am, I'm uh, born and raised in Minnesota, lived in Wisconsin long enough to realize uh, that the best NFL experience you can get is in Wisconsin. Um, Green Bay Packers, I was converted very fastly and I guess we can use this kind of as our, our topic header. What's the difference between a good football team um, is I guess the experience you get when you're at the games and you see the fans given every ounce of their energy uh, to cheer on their home team. Um, we grew up in Minnesota and it wasn't always the case. In Minnesota you cheer for the Vikings when they're winning and when they lose you're at home and you're not talking about it um, and you're, you're not wearing your colors the next week. That wasn't what it was like in Wisconsin. You go to a Green Bay Packers game and, and you get the experience and you carry that experience um, from August all the way through the season till uh, they're in the Super Bowl beating up on the Patriots. And I'm sorry for <laughs> well, we'll see what happens that, this year. We, uh, we, this we year. carry the experience, we carry uh, the, the, fan, the fans um, at, at a different level and there's a lot of different fans that do that. But I think we need to look at our services in that same line light. Um, we need to look at our community members that are supporting our services like fans of our, our teams, our football teams, and we're the, we're the team. And we have to remember that um, we're asking them to come into our practice once a week, a lot like uh, the football teams are asking us to watch their games once a week. We're saying come into our practice and get an experience. And what I'm about to share with you is um, not me saying this is what you need to do in practice. This is uh, something that we implement at Cairo Way. Um, and I had this conversation with my wife before, before I started writing this presentation. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do as a franchise, we pride ourselves on working together on. And I'm inviting you into our, our practice, our organization, as I share this with you, um, not like we're doing it the right way and you're doing, uh, doing it the wrong way, or uh, we have confidential information that we can't share with you. I'm opening this uh, presentation up uh, to, to you guys as a set of family of chiropractors that 
deserve to know that you can give every one of your members the best experience, just like those Green Bay Packer fans get at Lambeau Field. So let's do this. To start the presentation, let's define, ex define uh, experience. Um, someone tell me what they define experience as, and I'll, we'll kind of build, build it in. Someone shout out what they define experience as. What is experience? Perception of my nervous system. Perception, what else? Blood, sweat, and tears. Yep. Feeling that you have. Feeling, okay. Anything else? What do you remember when you leave? Yeah, I like that. I, I defined experience. I defined experience as the contact with observation of facts and or events, the knowledge or skill acquired by such means over a period of time, an event or occurrence that leaves an impression on someone. That's pretty much what we just said. It's something that people feel. That's what we need to do in practice. I think we need to shut up, get them adjusted, and give them a feeling and experience that they walk away from saying, I need to bring my friends and family in here because they're missing out on something. That's what I, I, I want to cover here with the, the chiropractic experience. And I thought long and hard about how I was going to do this and how I was going to present this information. And I thought the easiest way I could do it was just sharing a story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a story with a new member that we had at our practice. Her name is Jill. Jill's in her mid-20s. She's married, no kids, two dogs, and loves <coughs> exercising. When I met Jill, she was at a stage of her life where she noticed her quality of life was diminishing. Her exercise wasn't as efficient, and she was having the occasional migraines that she wasn't experiencing several years before. She saw my practice, her away in her neck of the woods, and her first exposure with us was our brand. And that's what I want to start with is your identity. Mark talked about having an identity for chiropractic. And I'm going to ask you what your identity is for your practice. If we all pour the time and energy into creating an identity in our practice, like we do here this weekend about creating an identity with chiropractic care, people don't need to hear what you're saying because your identity speaks for itself. I believe the beginning of your identity or the beginning of your brand for your services starts with who you are. I had no idea what Scott was gonna talk about today and he talked exactly on that. He said it all starts with you. It's what you're doing at home. It's who you are as a family. It's you being here and sharing it with your friends and family and letting them know that you're taking a Saturday out of your schedule to be a little bit better than you were last weekend. Sponsoring students, helping students, your hobbies, your passions. But it's more than that. It's sharing it with people and letting them know who you are. And I'll get into that at the end of this uh, conversation that we're having. Um, and I'm going to continue on back to Jill's story. Before Jill got to know who I was, her first exposure with our practice, Caraway, uh, was one of our brochures at the local coffee shop. I visit this coffee shop on a daily basis because I am a sucker for dark coffee and espresso. I love dark coffee, so I figured if I'm gonna be drinking coffee, I might as well leave my brochures here and leave my business cards up on the bulletin board. Last night we were having this conversation at the bar and we were talking about some of the little things you can do in practice. And, and I believe it was with Dwayne, if it was last night or today, I forget which one we were talking about it. But the little things such as, if you're gonna be eating lunch at a local diner, is that what they call them around here? Diners? Yeah. Diners, we call them cafes, we call them restaurants. If you're gonna be eating lunch at a local diner on a regular basis, wouldn't it make sense if you leave a good tip on a regular basis, let them know who you are and let them know that you're a local business? This is what I do with the coffee shop on a regular basis. I leave my brochures and I make sure that the brochures are the most up-to-date information that reflects who I am and reflects who my company is and what our services are and I'm very transparent in it. I, get, I, I put all information on it that they're going to need to know and I make it presentable. 
So when Jill saw this brochure at the local coffee shop and she was going through her uh, diminished quality of life, uh, she put two and two together because she saw that there was the same color, same name as the chiropractor that just moved into her, uh, her neighborhood. So she took one of them home. On top of that, don't buy brochures, don't invest into brochures and then just put one or two there. Make sure that you have enough there so people feel like they can take it. That's the whole purpose of brochures. She took this brochure, brochure home um, and on the walk home with her, she, it didn't take long for her to look over the information and know exactly what she was gonna get um, out of her encounter with us. So my question to you is, and I'm gonna ask you a question after each topic that we hit home on today. My question to you is, do you have a brochure? What's on your brochure? Where do you print your brochures? How thick is the brochure? How colorful is the brochure? Does it reflect your brand to the adequacy that you deserve it? Because we all need an identity in our practice that reflects our passion that we have for chiropractic care. Jill's next research into our services is the infamous Google. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play on this video and uh, replicate the experience that Jill had on searching for us. There's no audio on this, and I'm gonna walk you through if you can see this. She started typing in Cairo Way. And as she typed in Cairo Way, we were the first thing that popped up. Upon arrival at the top of the page, she could easily click on her Google Place page. Google Place page is your address, your hours, and one other, one other important information on it. It's your reviews, which is by far the most important thing Google has ever created in their platform of search optimization. So as Jill, as Jill's searching through her experience or future experience with our services, she's reading through all these reviews that my current past or friends and family have posted about our services. And she told me that she stumbled upon one review that really stood out in her mind. And I'm gonna read it to you, it's too small up there, and share it 